Hello guys, one of you uh, one of you guys requested me to uh, solve a MRP question, uh, a lot sizing question. Um, but I'm not gonna do the same example from the book because you can just look at the solution there. So I'm gonna solve one of the questions from the uh, the back of the chapter. I'm gonna solve question 13.18. Uh, 13 dot 17 18 and 19 are part of the same question but since 17 is just lot for lot and it's pretty straightforward I'm not go I'm not going to um, to solve that one so so I'm gonna straight I'm gonna go straight ahead with the EOQ part Oops. okay so the way we start off is uh, the question has given us the gross demand for the first 12 weeks it's given us the holding cost uh, per week per unit, the setup cost, the lead time, and the beginning inventory. So the beginning inventory is going to be 40. All right. So uh, now we need to find out to be able to solve the EOQ. We need to find out the annual demand. Now we can't really find out the annual demand uh, yet. So first, find out the weekly uh, average weekly demand. So I'm just going to use Excel here. Uh, so oops. Average of that, right? So it's 27.5. So our annual demand is going to be that multiplied by 52. So it's 1430. So our EOQ is basically going to be uh, root under so SQRT 2 times D, which is the annual demand, which is 1430 times our setup cost which is 150 divided by our holding cost which is 2.5 per unit per week times 52 weeks because remember the holding cost when you're calculating EOQ should be uh, in terms of uh, it should be in terms of uh, per year or an annual cost and not a per week cost so the EOQ is going to be 57.4 so I'm just going to uh, Approximate that that as 57 for now. Now um, let's start solving the question. All right. So the gross requirement for week one is 30 units. We do not have uh, 30. We do we do have sorry uh, enough. We do not have any shortage, so we do not need an extra net requirement. So it's going to be zero. The plan receipts is also going to be zero since we don't need anything. Now in week two, our projected on hand is going to be 10 units because we had 40 we used up 30 the net requirement is going to be zero since there is no gross requirement that month the planned receipts is also going to be zero now the projected on hand is going to stay 10 because the inventory from period which is carried over to three but since we have a gross requirement of 40 units uh, the net requirement will be 30 so we need to have we need to receive at least one shipment and the shipment is equal to 57 minutes right since the lead time is one week we have to order it in the previous period now since we had a projected on hand of 10 units in that particular uh, that particular week and we needed 40 so we had a net requirement of 30 and we received 57 so we have 27 left from the previous period correct so uh, the net requirement is going to be zero because we do not have any gross requirement in period four So we're not going to order any and we're not going to get any So in this particular case the 27 units is going to roll over to the next month uh, But we need 30 so we need additional three so we have to actually get another a lot of 57 units Okay uh, Next up we have 70 So since we have a net requirement of 3 and we actually had to order 57 we have 54 remaining on hand now um, our net requirement is going to be 16 units so we order another 57 so we have 41 left since the since the uh, gross requirement is 20 we don't need anything there we're not going to order anything oops that particular week so we have 21 left uh, no demand now we have 21 so we only have sorry we have 21 left uh, no 
no requirement since it's only 10. Now we have only 11 left. Now this, this part is tricky. Normally when the question asks you uh, something like this where you actually have a demand that is greater than your EOQ and it's and they don't give you a, a stock out cost to calculate the um, to calculate the the extra cost being incurred in this particular case uh, what you can do is uh, you can actually order twice the EOQ amount so you have your uh, requirement of 69 units so you can actually order twice the EOQ which is 57 times 2 it's 114 so you order twice the EOQ in week 9 and you got it in week 10 so you needed 69 and uh, you got 114 so your net so your inventory is going to be 114 minus 69 so you have 45 units left you don't have any uh, orders that uh, you don't have any gross requirements in the 11th period, so uh, no receipts and nothing. Now you have 45, you need, sorry, your project on is 45, net requirements going to be 5, so you're going to have to order another 57 there. Okay, so, oops, it's going to be 0. What am I doing? Okay. Uh, there you go. Okay, so your holding cost is going to be. So total number of your holding cost is going to be the sum of all that. You normally don't uh, take the beginning inventory since you assume that you had it at the beginning of the week and it didn't stay throughout the week. So you didn't you didn't hold those 40 units for the entire week. So you don't take that cost that particular um, inventory as something you you held for the entire week. So uh, you're not going to uh, consider that as a part of your holding cost. So you had 312 units uh, held total throughout the 12 periods. So your holding cost is going to be that multiplied by your holding cost per unit per week. Whoa, what am I doing? Multiplied by that. Alright, so your holding cost is 780. Now your setup cost is going to be so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You order them 5 times multiplied by 150 so 750 is a setup cost and your total cost is going to be that plus that so 1530 is your total cost so that's how you would solve the EOQ question okay and question number 13.19 you're supposed to find out the uh, part period balancing which is also called the POQ now the method in the book is slightly different <clears throat> and there is a lot of stuff that uh, you probably don't need to do. So the easiest way to do the POQ is first, uh, the POQ period is first to find out um, how often you need to buy them. So to do that you divide your EOQ by your uh, average weekly demand. So you get 2.07. So uh, if it's anything higher than two, it's going to be three. All right. So you, you're uh, you're going to order for three periods in the future. So first of all, we have our, our projected on hand as forty. So your net requirement is going to be zero. Your planned order zero, and your receipts zero as well. Um, you'll have ten on hand. Zero requirements. Now you're going to have 10 on hand, you need 30, so that's when you need to receive. So you're going to receive enough for three periods. So you're going to need it, you're going to do for uh, period three, period four, and period five. All right, so that's going to be 70 units that you're going to order. You're going to order it there. Next up, uh, you're going to have. 40 units left over. Sorry, um, my bad. You're only gonna order uh, 60 units. 
because you actually already had um, you already had 10 in hand so you only, you only need 60 not not 70 so you're gonna have 30 on hand here uh, 0 plan receives you don't need anything so you have 30 on hand so you need 30 this cancels everything out and this month you have 0 on hand you need 70 so you're gonna order 70 plus 20 plus 0 so it's gonna be 90 units uh, shoot. okay 90 then you have 20 is a gross requirement your projected on hand is 20 so it's just gonna stay as 20 sorry it's gonna stay as 0 gross requirement is 0 and you have 0 on hand so it doesn't really affect you if you're at 9 your uh, projected on hand is 0 you need 10 so you're gonna order 10 plus 80 plus 0, so that's 90 units. Uh, okay. And then you're gonna have uh, you're gonna have 80 left over. Net requirement is gonna be zero. You don't need anything in uh, period 11, so that's fine. And period 15 is you have zero on end. You're gonna order 50. Okay, so let's calculate the holding cost. It's going to be 180 times 2.5 per unit per uh, week, 450. And your setup cost is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's going to be 4 multiplied by the 150. So your total cost is going to be 1050 dollars so there you go hopefully that clears it up for you and uh, yeah let me know if you have anything else